Now it's time to make the wing and the bit that basically attaches from the backpack to the strap. Um, so these in flat just look like a piece of diamond shape. I just freehanded the pattern a minute ago. And you fold them in half, they look like this. And then we're going to hem this edge here and then this is going to fit in there and stitch up nice and strong. So let's do that. There we go, this is the wing, so let's uh, sew them into the backpack. Here we go, wings are attached and secured. Next stage, putting the um, straps onto this panel and then it'll be stitching it all together. So we just added this eyelet into the front panel of the bag to allow us to put a draw cord in to cinch the top closed. Hey, it is day four. Uh, we've just started work today, so this is the first thing we're gonna do this morning. Um, I've drawn at the 48 going up four centimeter point the on the back of the bag, what used to be on this side, on the right side of the fabric. Um, and this is where the straps are gonna go, mounted at this diagonal. Um, and this bit is gonna go over the top to reinforce everything. So I've marked this up, now I'm gonna hem along this edge here. Um, and then we'll stitch the straps on. I also need to hem this back edge as well. This is really, really important. We put a lot of time into making these straps and we want to make sure they're on the bag exactly as we designed them to be. So what I've done, lined up the pattern, so this is exactly correct with how it should be on the bag, lining up the strap on the pattern. Now it's inevitable that this is not going to be perfect when you make things, things go a little bit wrong. And then I'm going to line this up how I think is going to be best. And then I'm going to tape this solidly, solidly down. Um, and then I'm going to stitch a line of stitching onto here, or a tack line onto here. Probably actually I'll tack it around about here, 
then once that's all stitched, once it's tacked up, both of the tacked on and, and the over the top strap is tacked on as well, then we'll place this down on top and do the proper serious stitching on and get everything together. These straps have been tacked on. I stitched them uh, here. I didn't want to add any unnecessary holes to the actual strong points. And uh, Finn's also reminded me, despite my best efforts, to forget to stitch in the over-the-top strap. So now the proper reinforcement stitching is going to come in. I'm going to lay this on here. And I'm going to stitch along these edges. And I'm probably going to use the zipper foot to get as close Oh, I'm not sure actually, maybe I'll stitch it normally and then I'll come over with the zipper foot and get as close as possible to the edge um, along this line here. Might tack it down with some tape as well. stitched on the backpack straps to the backpack. Let's get a close-up of all the different things we did on here. So I started with this, oh, there's a bit of thread that needs to be cut off. Started with this stitch here, that was like my line-up stitch, and then I came in really close with the zipper foot, getting it as close to the edge as I could. Um, then came back, put in a whole bunch of bar tacks where the main load is going to be at the edges because that overlaps with where the, hopefully, we can see. That'll overlap with where the reinforcement patches are on the back, uh, webbing bit. And then I did a couple of crossbar tacks, just, well, not really bar tacks, cross zigzags to get all of the um, bits of extra fabric underneath it. Um, and then I tried to increase the frequency of stitching in the middle because this piece of webbing comes all the way down and then just a straight stitch at the end to finish it off. So hopefully that should be really, really strong. Probably mum's only made herself a couple. See? Dude, there's like been a 12 second video now. Alright. Okay, so what do we think of it? How, how is it looking? It's looking so pretty far, good. It's difficult, like, last time when we put the backpacks at this stage, it didn't look very good. Um, it didn't look like it was going to fit. This one looks like it fits. So I don't know whether that's a good or a bad sign. It's time to stitch the bottom pocket onto the front and sides. This is how I want it arranged when it's all stitched together. To achieve that, this is going to be sewn quite close in uh, to here, like that. I'm going to stitch this line down. Then it's going to be rotated. Zoom out a little bit so we get more vision. This is going to be stitched into this line uh, and then it'll be rotated again and stitched onto that line there. Um, when we're doing this, important things to not do is important to not let these fold in and stitch them closed. It's important to not let these pleats get over and stitch them closed. And most importantly, not to stitch through and lock this pocket closed. To achieve that, I'm gonna stitch this one first 
uh, to this bit here and be very careful I don't hit it. all stitched all the way around uh, quite happy with how the corners came out and I managed to not close up the back pocket next we're gonna fell the seam so what this means is I'm gonna take these um, bits of extra what is it actually called seam allowance yeah take the seam allowance we're gonna fold it over and then we're gonna stitch it down uh, along the thing it's really important when you're doing this to tension this pull these pieces of fabric across when you're stitching this down you don't want this to be like bunched up and then you stitch it down because then, then you have a horrible fold on the other side and we want to fold the seam allowance in towards this um pocket we don't want to fell up onto the side pockets Seam is all felled. Now this is, you know, this is a really important step. It can be quite fiddly, especially with stiffer fabrics, and it's not the most aesthetically pleasing. Um, but it's felled, and it's going to make the bag much stronger because instead of just having one line of stitching in like a peel, it's going to be uh, two layers of stitching, and it's going to be flat instead of like instead of trying to be like pulled apart like this. It's going to be trying to pull across like this. Now it's time to stitch the back panel onto the one remaining seam on the bottom. I'm um, just going to whip it along and then we'll fill it. That is the um, back seam sewn and felled. This trash box turned out to be a little bit too small. It's funny, I thought it was going to be too big. Then we're just going to stitch up the main two seams.
So that is the first of the two main seams uh, sewn and felled. A little bit wibbly wobbly and I decided to fell out towards the back panel. Sorry, the front panel because I didn't think there'd be enough space uh, with the this bit here. I didn't think I would be able to fit it in. With both the main panels uh, all done, I'm not going to show you too much because it's getting quite exciting. Uh, we're just going to put the hem on the top, uh, fold it inwards, stitch it down, and then um, all the exciting things will happen. This is the preliminary, preliminary how it feels. Accessibility is feeling fairly good. All round back entry, dodged up the um, little hole pocket, but uh, feeling pretty happy with it. This bottle pocket is looking pretty sweet. Uh, new top strap in, we've got to cut and do that, but uh, so far I'm pretty happy with it. Bottles really change how, ca how it carries. It feels quite low, the bottle. I'm used to having the bottles like up here um, rather than down there, but I think that's going to balance much nicer. And then, that's good. What do we need to do now? This is it. Um, it's looking pretty good. The maneuverability, these pockets have worked out super well. Really chuffed with them. You can get round, you can get all the way round in this bag. Um, I separated the two draw cords, so these adjust independently now. Um, bottom pocket is working out, worked out really nicely. These straps feel insanely comfortable comfortable than the par straps. They just feel like, you know, I can feel the extra width of the top. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You'll be able to see the backpack in action with our GR5 blog as Finn and I are going to go and hike the GR5 and the Tour de Mont Blanc in about a month's time. So yeah, you'll be able to see this in action and hopefully there'll be another video soon of the production of an entire shaped tarp, a mid is its proper name, um, which is exciting. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, Hope it's been useful. Thank you, Finn, for helping. He's been basically here the entire time feeding things into the sewing machine. And yeah, hope it's inspired you to make a backpack because it's actually really easy.